My first question is very simple. What is a woman? Can you define the word? Congresswoman, I, I'm looking at you and I think you're a woman. Uh, thank you. Uh, how much more do you want me to give you? Um, well, if you're in charge of health and human services, we want a specific definition of what a woman is. I, do you want a legal definition? Do you want me to give you what a definition I've grown up knowing all my life? Uh, if you could be specific, I could give you more, but I see before okay. me a woman asking me questions. Well, um, biologically and genetically, do you agree that women have XX chromosomes and men have XY chromosomes? As, as far as the science tells us, uh, that's, uh, I, I know of no science that would contradict that to date. Um, Mr. Secretary, can men get pregnant? You're asking me something that uh, I know of no evidence uh, to the contrary. As the mother of seven children, I can assure you that only women can get pregnant. Um, the American people will not take medical advice from someone that thinks that a man could get pregnant. Mr. Secretary, the Biden administration released shocking guidance titled Gender Affirming Care and Young People, which encourages children to take dangerous chemicals and have sex change operations that permanently end their ability to ever have children. Mr. Secretary, is it child abuse to perform a sex change operation on a 12-year-old child or younger? Congresswoman, why do you wish to interfere in what that 12-year-old child and, and that child's parents would like? Because the American people want to know what the Biden administration has planned for their children. These well, are permanently altering drugs and surgery that will permanently um, end the child's ability to ever have children. So we want to know, please answer me yes or no, is it child abuse to perform a sex change operation on a 12-year-old girl? Yes or no? I'm not going down that rat hole with you. The American people want to know, should doctors be allowed to perform sex change operations on children without their parents' consent? I think most Americans want to keep, have politicians stay out of the decisions that they and their doctor make. So are you saying that there will never be a situation where a sex change operation or chemical castration will be done on a child without the parent's consent? Congresswoman, a decision made by an individual with uh, the consent, if necessary, by parents with the advice of, of their physician is usually going to be the best decision that could be made. Why you or any politician wants to get in the way of that, it makes no sense. Will you ever, will the Biden administration ever allow chemical or surgical castration of a child or being given pubic, pu, pu, uh, puberty blockers without parental consent, yes or no? Congressman, you're asking questions that make no sense. No, these are sensical. The American people want to know what the Biden administration has planned for their children. This administration is Are not you going to cut to... parents out of these decisions? This these are life-altering decisions. Once you chemically or physically castrate a child, that they will not be able to have children. I appreciate your, your particular uh, opinions on this. The, this administration is not going to interfere okay. with decisions that are made. These are not my opinions. By... My constituents and the American people want to know what the Biden administration has planned for their children. Congressman, and your how do guidance you know what your... says that puberty, puberty blockers are reversible. Please explain to the committee how this process is reversed. How do you reverse chemical and uh, surgical castration, sir? Congresswoman, if an American wishes to receive services and is entitled to those services, and doctor, with, after consulting These are with a children? Physician, These are children. Uh, most children, uh, when they are in consultation with their parents and with a physician making decisions, uh, these are decisions that don't need to have politicians interfere in them. So you're saying that the Biden administration's policy is that you will never cut out a, the parents, parents' consent before they are given puberty blockers or sex change operations? This administration and I as secretary will make sure we are abiding by the law and enforcing the law and letting politicians get in, in the, interfere with the decisions, medical decisions being made by an individual and family and a consult, consultation mm -hmm. with their physician 
is not Ms. to me something Mr. that Mr. Secretary, doing. do you believe taxpayers should pay for chemical castration and sex change operations? I know that the HHS website has listed new procedures that will be covered by Medicare and Medicaid, including facial bone remodeling for facial feminization, breast chest construction, and laser hair removal. Yes or no, Mr. Secretary, should taxpayers pay for this? Carson, I, I, woman, I appreciate your, your fervor in this. Yes or I no, should you. they pay for it? I will the tell Biden you administration, are they planning to have taxpayers pay for breast, chest reconstruction, laser hair removal, facial feminization? We will continue to comply with the law and provide people with the protections they need to get the medical services they're entitled to. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, and I'll resume. I think I had about three and a half minutes left. Um, thank you, Mr. Secretary. I was talking about um, reopening schools. Everybody wanted schools reopened. The ventilation problems, cannot, you can't open a school in the middle of an airborne pandemic <coughs> with ventilation problems. If you can open during a pandemic, you need nurses, counselors, uh, extra buses to avoid overcrowding, PPE, things that cost money. Um, it's my understanding that the American Rescue Plan um, provided more money for K through 12 education than any bill in the history 